right. So we're here with Zach Andrews, former UMass Boston men's hockey goaltender, who was the emergency backup for the Chicago Blackhawks a few weeks ago. And we're here to talk to him about that experience, Zach. Thanks for taking a few minutes today to talk about your experience. Anytime. So take me through what that call was like. How did that go? What was it like to hear you were going to be the emergency backup goaltender for the Chicago Blackhawks? <laughs> so I was, I'm in the, so I'm an accountant. So I'm, it's the middle of tax season. Um, I'm sitting at my desk. We're in the same place I'm sitting right now. Uh, it was about three o'clock and I just got a call from uh, the director of player personnel from the Panthers to say, Hey, look, I'm not a hundred percent sure like how it's going to work or what's going to happen, but you know, Chicago's goalie sick. They're back up sick. Um, so there's a good possibility you're going to end up dressing for that tonight's game. You know, I don't, he's like, he didn't know what it was going to look like. If I was going to take warm ups or anything like that. So he just said, basically in the next like 20 minutes, you're going to get a call from the Blackhawks GM or the assistant GM. So the the Blackhawks assistant GM called me and said, you know, you're going to be taking warm ups and uh, you know, you're going to be on the roster with the team. Uh, <laughs> so that was, that was interesting being at my desk. I had an appointment too. I had to cancel my appointment. Uh, my, my dad was my partner. I had to see the appointment instead. Uh, it was a pretty good excuse though, right? Hey, you know, I got to take off. I'm going to go play for the Blackhawks today. But, uh, yeah, that was, it was, it was pretty surreal when I got the call to say, Hey, you're going to dress tonight and take warm ups and be a part of the team. It was a pretty cool thing. And what was it like leading up to that? So going into the locker room, arriving at the facility, what was that entire evening leading up to basically being on the bench, getting on the ice for warmups? Yeah, so I would say the the anticipation of it was, you know, definitely, uh, definitely really exciting. Um, obviously, as a hockey player or someone that used to play hockey, like it's it's a dream. It's a dream come true, even though, you know, it's at the – it's because someone's hurt or someone's sick, but it's a dream come true. So something like that happens. You, um, you like think back to, you know, all your old coaches, your old teammates, and uh, you just like think about how much you enjoyed the game. And you're just really excited to even be a part of, you know, hockey on, especially on that level. Um, so it was a little emotional, actually. Uh, when I was with my wife, I, when I told her I was a little teary eyed, but um I would say once I got to the rink, um, it was just like any other hockey game, right? It's just at the big stage of the NHL. Um, so once I actually got my equipment on, I had a, a quick moment where I was like, I look around and I'm like, wow, this is the NHL. Okay, here we are. Um, and then after that, it was just like a normal game. Um uh, the only other thing that I liked was like in college, if you were backing up, you know, you had to wear your helmet on the bench, but you know, in the NHL, you get to put on a hat and you get the best seat in the house. So it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Was there any point during the game? I know I was watching that night. You guys were up two nothing in the third period. Was there at any point where you thought you might get in? I know like earlier in the year, the Edmonton Oilers put in their emergency backup. When yeah. up late. A few years yeah. ago, I know Carolina had their emergency in at one point. Did you ever think there was maybe a shot going into that third? I thought if it was a blowout in any capacity, whether we were winning or whether we were losing badly, um, and I say we, the Blackhawks, um, yeah, I thought there was definitely possible for sure. Um, but uh, I, I've been in that position before. Not I wasn't dressed and on the bench, but I've been I've been dressed like quite a few times now when guys get hurt, and it's very it's exciting for you know the first two minutes you're getting dressed, and then you realize okay, I'm probably not going to go in. <laughs> um and then you just stink of hockey gear and then you have to get showered and all that jazz but um I no I didn't I didn't really think I was gonna but if there was a blowout yeah I thought there was definitely a possibility of it happening what other teams have you had to suit up for even in an emergency capacity have there been other NHL teams before this experience yeah. and this was your first time on the bench that, yeah, this is my first time on the bench, but I've suited up uh, like mid game or like in the first period for a couple teams. Honestly, I can't even remember the teams off the top of my head anymore. I know like Carolina uh, one time, um, God, who I got? Phoenix, um, the Panthers, obviously a few times. Um, God, I can't even remember now. Uh, it happened like so long ago, but yeah, it's been it's been a few teams that, that it's happened against. So what was that? kind of pregame, in-game, post-game experience like for you being on the bench, you're in the locker room, you know, as opposed to suiting up and being elsewhere in the stadium. 
Right. Um, just kind of tried to approach it like I would when I was in college. Um, I, I didn't really warm up per se, but I just, um, I kind of just did my same thing, tape my stick on the bench, kind of just relax, um, hang out in the locker room a little bit, nothing crazy. Um, the, the, the warm up was obviously exciting because I was getting on the ice and putting on the Jersey. That was cool. Um, but besides that, I just kind of tried to approach it. Like it's just any other game. Didn't want to like the game of hockey is a game of hockey, no matter what level. Right. So you're basically mirroring the same behaviors that you would even, you know, in the college level or anything like that. Did you get to have any memorable experiences with the Blackhawks players and staff before the game, after the game? The, the problem was we lost. Um, so the, there wasn't that many memorable memories, but uh, I, you know what? My most memorable memory actually wasn't even with the Blackhawk. It was probably, um, it was on, it was on the ice and warmups was a couple. So it was um, Kachuk. I was kind of warming up to the side, just kind of like doing some skating drills. And Kachuk was kind of messing with me and from the Panther side and tapping my pad. And then I was stretching and uh, Eric Stahl was across the ice and he was stretching too. And we, we locked eyes with each other and he just started smirking and shaking his head. I thought that was pretty funny. But other than that, there wasn't anything that memorable. I mean, I had a lot of um, I had a lot of friends and family in the stands, not some friends, not even knowingly, you know, they didn't even know what was happening. Uh, they just randomly saw me on the bench and they were coming over, banging on the glass and stuff like that. So that, that was pretty cool. And coming full circle, you know, you've had a few experiences in the NHL. What did it mean to you as a whole to be on that bench and what's in the future? Do you think you'll hopefully have more experiences like this? Are you still active in hockey? Uh, that's about as active as it gets. Uh, I just like, practice with the Panthers here and there. I, um, I don't play men's league. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, if I do a couple more years, it could happen. I still plan on doing it for a little while longer. Um, as long as I'm young enough to do so. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would, you know, the next step would be getting in. Um, the chances that that happen are, you know, below 1%, but Hey, I'll do it a few more years and give it a shot. If it happens, then, then great. I can retire. <laughs> and lastly i see some photos behind you of your time with umass boston what was your yeah. favorite memory of being a beacon and uh working with coach belial and the rest of the staff and being in a uh, beacon uniform all those years ago yeah i would say um i would say there was definitely some great memories like winning obviously the the championship our senior year was, was awesome that was uh that felt like everything coming full circle and finally happening for us um, you know, we did, we won at Fenway park. That was pretty cool. But I just think just in general, I think our, that class that we came in with threat, my freshman year was, was awesome. Like we had so much fun together. And I think just freshman year as a whole, just like it being so fresh and new. And just, I felt like we kind of like turned things around, um, uh, for the program a little bit, uh, just our class, like just things started to change and go our way. We started winning a lot. Um, I would say just freshman year was awesome. Um, and then obviously we got better and better every single year from there. And then we won our senior year, but I would say um, probably the best memory, I guess it just has to be winning the, the NEHC and going to the frozen four uh, tough way we, to go out as I'm sure you've heard. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting, but yeah, I'd say winning was the best one. Well, Zach, thank you for taking the time today to talk to us about your experience with the Chicago Blackhawks and, reminiscing a little bit about your time yeah. as a UMass Boston Beacon. Yeah. We appreciate it. Anytime, anytime, anytime.